what are some common lumps or bumps which a person can have a lot of conditions can present as small swellings or lumps on your skin the most common are lipomas which are collections of fat tissues or you can have sebaceous cysts or epidermoid cysts also some lymph node swellings or fibromas can present with small bumps if you have an infection or an abscess even that will present as a swelling or a bump what is the treatment for these conditions certain conditions like infections um, or lymph node swellings may go down with treatment especially with antibiotics but in most cases you might require a small surgery to get treated for these lumps like lipomas or sebaceous cysts or fibromas when should you get these treated the treatment depends upon the problems or the symptoms that you are having if that lump or swelling is causing pain or it is interfering with your daily activities or it is causing some sort of discomfort to you definitely get it treated otherwise if it's in a very obvious area like suppose on your forehead or right on your nose and it is causing a lot of undue attention being given to it and you're not comfortable with it again the same thing we can get it treated which anesthesia is used and what is the recovery time that depends upon the size of the lump and the number of lumps that you have if it is a single lump generally we do it under local anesthesia that is only that part is made numb with injections however if it's a very large lump or swelling or if there are multiple ones we may have to go for full anesthesia or general anesthesia the recovery time depends upon which anesthesia we use if it's local anesthesia you come in you get the procedure done and you go home immediately so you can start your routine activities immediately after your treatment there is no need for bed rest or any such precautions only avoiding a strenuous activity or vigorous activity and not getting that area soiled would be the basic precautions to be followed other than that normal activities are fine if it's full anesthesia then obviously you need to be admitted for a certain amount of time and after that a few precautions like when to start having liquid and solid need to be followed before you get back to activities of daily living will there be a scar after treatment any surgery will leave a scar what we do is we use very fine stitches or very fine suture materials they are like your hair so that leaves a very fine subtle scar less than a millimeter thick the other option is in select cases suppose if the lump is near your eyebrow or near your hairline we can make the cut or incision within the eyebrow or within your hair so the resultant scar is hidden and therefore it is not very obviously seen the same thing can be done with uh, lumps near your ear so it can be hidden behind your ear depending upon that your scar will not be visible on routine obvious interactions what are the chances of reoccurrence of this issue uh, that depends upon the condition that you have if it is a lipoma anyone can have a lipoma at any stage of the life so whatever you have is completely treated yes but we cannot tell you if you will or will not have another such lump ever again in your life